Hello, boys and girls. This is Mr. Paul. And today I'm going to walk you around the keyboards that I use in classrooms. There are a lot of similarities with many keyboards. First of all, let me tell you what kind I have. I have a Yamaha PSR 500 with memory. A Yamaha uses a special type of thing. You have a normal mode, which means you can play all the keys. If you put it in normal mode, Oh, St. Patrick's Day, so I put this is Mr. Paul. He says, hi. He says, I love you. Bye. Anyway, that's why I've got those letters on. If you have it in normal mode, you can play all the keys all the way. And then these are the black keys. Okay, now if you switch it over here to split, you can split your half your keyboard to one voice, half your keyboard to the other. All right, now let me tell you some things. Your accompaniment control controls your drums. In order to do your drums, you would select a style. I'm going to select 04, which is something called Euro Pop. And then to start, you simply push the button and it starts the drum beat. Okay? Now, if you want to adjust the tempo, you have an LED screen here. You can adjust the tempo to go faster by pushing the plus button, which will do this in beats per minute. See, I'm doing 146 beats per minute now. 150, and it goes faster and faster. Then you can decrease the tempo by pushing the down button or the decrease button, and you can get slower beats per minute. This also is your kind of built-in metronome. Now, you can do all kinds of voices. If you wanted to fill in, you can add a fill in. See, and it kind of breaks it up. That's for when you change from your verse to chorus. Another from verse to chorus would be you do a fill in two, and it takes you right to the bridge. And then, if you want to end the song, you can either use the start stop button or use the ending button. If you use the stop start button, it stops the drums right away. It also will start the drums right away. If you use the ending button, it will use a different kind of drum pattern and take it out. A couple other things that you might want to consider are the accompaniment volume, and you also have over here your regular keyboard volume. There's plenty of buttons that you can do. This particular keyboard, you can use these chords to record your chords and then your melody, and you can get some really nice versions of songs coming out. Your orchestration, let's say I'm in a single finger mode. Single finger mode means when you get the keyboard started, and you use one finger to denote a chord. For instance, C. This is going to play the C chord right here. Right now, I have all my accompaniments going. I can take out the orchestrations. If I want just the rhythm and bass, right now I've got the drums and bass. Bum, 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 ba dum, ba dum, bum. That's the bass. Now I simply have the rhythm, which you can add your fills. If you have your bass, when you do your fills, now you can add your voices. When you do your fills, hear the difference? Adding more voices. And you can take the ending out like this, and it has a can ending. Now, if you were to play a song, I'm going to try and hold this. I'm going to know if I can do this because I want to play the melody. And I'm going to use a single fingered mode. So I'm going to press start. And I do G. I'm going to eliminate some of the voices. Mary had a little lamb. Switch to G, little lamb. Back to C. Mary had a little lamb. It's was white as snow. See how I'm using my finger here? I'm holding my phone and then I play the melody here. Mary had a little lamb. Switch chords. Little lamb, little lamb. 
Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. Then I can hit the ending button. And it gives you an ability to record songs that sound really good. I'll be teaching you more about the Yamaha keyboard. I would suggest you get a Yamaha because Yamaha is a single fingered mode where you would use a minor key by using the major note and you press the black note to the left. That would give you a minor key sound like here is A minor, F, G, A minor. This would be A major, a happier chord, A minor, a sadder chord. But we'll get to a lot of these other things a little bit later. So anyway, that gives you the basics to a Yamaha keyboard. And we will talk to you more about how to use your keyboard and get the most out of it. Talk to you later. Bye.